And assuming you watched my previous video I posted just a few minutes ago, what's really weird is that, and again, you can, oh, geez. You can kind of see the witness marks. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, so this one's a little more prominent. It's got better contact here. So this is near the edge. This is further from the edge. So I got the same kind of bias, almost similar numbers in terms of the clicks because I can swap the sights between the two guns with the same type of receiver that seats the sights on center. And I got that same left-hand bias. And um, the receivers measure up fine. The BCM handguard measures up fine. This thing, taking the larger plus two side, like this is not even fucking close. Like there's no getting this on there. It's not even close. It's not even, not even a little bit, not even like along that bevel, like nothing. Let me just double check this because I haven't actually tried this receiver. And there it goes, plus two side fits, nice and snug. Uh, well, a little bit of rock. I mean, if I had to guess, maybe plus one, one and a half at the most. So I don't know what's going on with these sights and how I'm getting the same result with such a completely different rail. And I'm going to take this opportunity to trash his handguard some more. It's a piece of shit. Got 5,000 clearance on the nut, so it's egg-shaped by the time you tighten the wedge. I got striations all up and down the receiver. This is poor lighting, so you don't see it that well. But I assure you, in person, it looks worse. And then you get to here, and the wall thickness varies from like 98 thousandths to like 129, wall to wall. So it's like kind of pretty, but it's a piece of shit. 